Since 1885, it has been our passion to enable people worldwide to experience the Schimmel Keys to happiness. We consider the making of pianos to be a handcraft, and we therefore employ precision and great care, right down to the smallest details. We rely on the unique experience of our piano master craftsmen. They nurture the traditions of a skill which has existed for over 300 years. At the same time, we also use state-of-the-art technology to guarantee that each note will be an unforgettable concert experience. A decisive step on the path towards a rich tone. The soundboard is glued onto the sounding body. This meticulously prepared resonance wood absorbs the vibration of the strings and produces the tone when the piano is played. Our master joiners are highly experienced in shaping the soundboard to ensure that it retains its elliptical curve and is capable of producing the characteristic shimmel tonal coloring with its richness and balance. This slight curvature is almost invisible to the human eye, but has great significance for rich tonal coloring. The soundboard functions like a type of membrane and stimulates sound waves in the air. The tension in the soundboard plays a vital role in sound production. The tension inherent in the board acts as a storage unit for the energy, which is subsequently released from the board, thereby producing an inimitable tone. Let me give a short demonstration. When I create tension in this piece of soundboard wood, this substantially intensifies the tone produced by the tuning fork. This is exactly what happens inside the instrument. Here is the main ridge of the Bavarian forest where the wood is cultivated for our resonance boards. These trees were highly prized by piano manufacturers as early as the 19th century. Mountain spruce grows extremely slowly due to the high altitude and is therefore perfectly suited for resonance wood. Forest wardens in the Bavarian state forests take great care in their selection of logs cut from trees up to 300 years old, exclusively for Schimmel. Only 2% of the trees make the grade. The wood of the mountain spruce is particularly valued for its annual rings which grow in a narrow and even form. A local sawmill processes this special wood exclusively for Schimmel. The spruce logs are cut into narrow segments and dried in a slow process to avoid the formation of cracks. The wood for the soundboards is completely free of flaws and displays an even growth. It is simultaneously elastic, yet resistant to bending. This is how Bavarian mountain spruce becomes transformed into resonance wood of the highest quality. We have enlarged the soundboard to enhance its characteristics even further, resulting in 15% more radiation surface than in numerous comparable grand pianos of the same dimensions. This is how we attempt to enhance the piano tone to encompass an even wider range of tonal colors. The great advantage here is that we retain the same construction form while enlarging the tonal spectrum.
Shimmer pianos are definitely instruments with a very big personality. It's always spotable whether an instrument has a known voice, a known uh, spirit, I could say even. And uh, this is one thing which is uh, undeniable about Schimmel pianos, that uh, besides uh, the, the, the quality, the qualities of the instrument, it's, there is always, always a spirit behind it. A spirit behind it. Could this be because the critical manufacturing steps are performed by humans and not by machines? and that every tiny detail is carried out and checked by piano master craftsmen. We ensure total precision in the mechanical action of our pianos through processes such as heating the hammer shanks to adjust their position within tenths of a millimeter. Despite our trust in our computer-controlled precision machinery, it is humans who provide the final personal touch to ensure the perfect functioning of these mechanical miracles. Step by step, an instrument is created with great care and consideration and is far more than just a perfectly balanced piece of precision machinery. It is a grand piano with its own individual spirit. Yeah, what is this? What do we mean by that? Each instrument possesses an individual personality. Each instrument manufactured turns out a little differently. This is also due to the fact that we utilize such a wide palette of natural products. Wood, for example, possesses highly variable characteristics and presents us with the constant challenge of achieving the maximum in our instruments. This has been our primary concern from the very start when Wilhelm Schimmel established his own firm with the simple slogan, quality will prevail. We have remained faithful to this motto for over 125 years and will continue to do so now that the management of the family firm has been passed on to the fourth generation. We say yes to a sense of tradition, but no to nostalgia. We have and we always will persevere with continuing research into the further improvement of our pianos. Our constructors, for example, set themselves the task of creating a small grand piano which would play and sound like a large concert grand. The starting point for consideration was the action, the part of the instrument enabling the pianist to incorporate his own energy into the tone. Up until then, only large concert grands possessed a large action. Then Schimmel came up with an idea. How about constructing an action with a common key length for all instruments? Normally, shorter instruments always had shorter keys and a different action assembly, and concert grands had longer keys and yet another type of action assembly. Now we have an entire instrument series which functions with a common key length and offers comparable lever ratios in the mechanical action. It's simply a luxury to have a small grand piano with the playability of a concert grand and still keep the compatibility of alternating between both of them. The keyboard. This is where the pianist and his instrument touch each other and become one. We no longer use ivory out of respect for animals and nature. 
but we still use ebony wood from sustainable forests. Each key is placed singly by hand into its position. We were forced to reinvent the covering for the key surface and therefore embarked on a search for a material with a silken gloss finish which would be comparable to ivory. Now our keys are covered with our mineral coating. We were faced with the problem that normal synthetic materials are too greasy and slippery, and pianists have certain standards regarding the feel of the keys under their fingers. They prefer a good grip, but this must never slow down their performance or permit the keys to become too slippery when the fingers are slightly sweaty. We took up this challenge and tested this mineral coating in our manufacture. We undertook a series of experiments until we found a synthetic coating surface which permitted pianists to develop an exact feel for their instruments. The key coatings I've experienced on Schimmel Grand Pianos are certainly extremely comfortable. Your hands don't slip, but you also never have the impression that your fingers stick to the keys. You simply have a completely natural feeling. This search for a new material for the keys shows that new developments are still possible in the making of pianos. There's always a little room for further improvement. We took a look at this element of the bridge, which is fitted in every instrument, and simply milled a so-called dynamic groove to produce a slight reduction in the mass of the bridge. The bridge has benefited from this detail because the force effect is vertical. It's still capable of withstanding the pressure as before, but is able to vibrate more freely thanks to its reduced mass. This has given the entire tonal system, of which the bridge is an integral element, even greater flexibility and enhanced its reaction to subtle nuances. The mass reduced bridge. This proved to be such a great refinement that we filed an application for a patent. This small component is deceptively unspectacular. The bridge is the sole connection to the soundboard, the element responsible for the vital richness of sound, tonal character and expressive power. We must imagine that the bridge is the only medium which can transport the energy from the string to the soundboard. Without it, not a single note would be produced. Violins all have a bridge, guitars have a bridge, and in principle all stringed instruments have a bridge, including the piano. The bridge has the function of transporting the vibrations to the soundboard. Imagine that the bridge was stiff and inflexible, then the soundboard wouldn't have any fun. However, if the bridge is mass-reduced for certain frequencies, meaning higher frequencies, this encourages the resonance and puts more life into it. Pianos and grand pianos are highly sensitive instruments. They receive tender loving care and expert treatment. The finishing touches are carried out by our master piano craftsman. Tonal colors must initially be calculated and constructed, but it is only thanks to the fine intuition and sensitivity to nuances of our master piano craftsman that these instruments are so expertly voiced and brought to life. Our experts prick the felt on the hammerheads with fine voicing needles, providing the hammerheads with a certain degree of elasticity. Each single hammerhead is needled several dozen times. To round off this process, 
The felt surface is then carefully smoothed. This is a task which could never be performed by electronic equipment. Here, the master piano craftsmen rely on their experience and highly trained ear. Schimmel has played a substantial role in my life, and their corporate philosophy has always been oriented towards innovation and progress, and the exploration of new paths, new advances, and new constructions. The strings. They trigger off the sound when set in vibration by the energy of the pianist. The strings are strung in high tension on the cast iron frame. Each string has to withstand between 80 and 130 kilos of tension, evolving immense but finely adjusted tractive forces. Our constructors have explored all possibilities to produce an even richer tonal spectrum. Here, the magic word is triplex scale. Roof-shaped miniature bridges permit the front portions of the strings to be used for the sound production. They can be individually adjusted. Explained in simple terms, the triplex scale produces an immensely increased volume of resonating overtones. This greatly enhances the tonal spectrum, particularly the sound development in the discant register. All pianists will greatly welcome and enjoy this abundance of overtones and richer tonal colouring. Tradition with an innovative touch to guarantee that each note becomes a concert experience. 